It doesn't mean that a person living in Makkah al Mukarramah and places like this, then a person will be safeguarded from fitna. We was hearing one kar guzari of one sheikh, Allahu Akbar. Ajeeb, this is something to really pay attention to. One sheikh, he was saying, we went to the Bronx. Everyone's heard of the Bronx in New York. And they knew that there is one Muslim brother which is living at this address. So the brothers went to go and meet this person. They knocked on the door, he came out. And the brothers who went, they were of original Arab origin from UK. And the brother who they went to meet was from Saudiya, he was from Jeddah. When they met him, and he said, when I asked the brother where he was from, he said, I'm from Saudiya, I'm from Saudi Arabia, and I lived in Jeddah. 25 years of age he was. He said, MashaAllah, you, sure you probably have been Hajj and Umrah, you probably have the tawfiq of going to the house of Allah on a number of occasions. He said, why should I lie? He goes, up until now, 25 years, I have never ever seen the haram once. We spend 5,000 pounds, 3,000 pounds, 4,000 pounds. A person is living a taxi journey away. Then the person heard him, like, Yaar, you, Jadda, 25 years? He broke out into tears and started crying. Yaar, this is something serious. You live for 25 years, you've never been to the haram once? And he doesn't pray salah at all? He's on the doorstep crying his eyes out, crying. Now remember this, this person is in the Bronx, New York. Allahu Akbar. When this person sees him crying, his heart started melting. He said, Yad, I've never met you and you're crying for me. You're crying for me. So then he said, please, I beg you for the sake of Allah. Come with me, please come to the masjid. So he said, on your account of your crying, I am ready to come to the masjid with you. He took him to the masjid. He goes, I'm in the house of Allah and I swear Qasim. From that day until now, his tahajjud never became Qaza. For two years, he became Namazi where? The Bronx. He turned to Allah in the Bronx and he lived in Jeddah. One Mulana had bayan as well, not this year, the previous year. And I was hearing the Karguzari from another Mulana that sat in his bayan. He said, Yaar ye sunne ki baati. I said, what happened? He said, Mulana said, he took a taxi journey from one place called Aziziya to the Haram. And he said, one person's been working in Saudi for 15 years. He drops people at the Hilton and he turns and goes back. Never has he been given tawfiq to even step inside the Haram. Allahu Akbar. And he was saying, and the sticker on the car, Hadha min fadl rabbi. But you can't say Allah ka fazalah. This is a sign Allah is naraz with you. Have we ever thought of it like this? Kya pata Allah tumari shakal bina dekhne chahe. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allah ta'ala save us. But we should not feel content. We should not feel at ease. We should not feel at rest. And we should understand that this is a struggle from birth until death. Just as how we will not tolerate any deficiency coming within our dunya we should not tolerate the slightest deficiency coming within our deen <laughs>